The ingredients that we're using today are citric acid, bicarbonate of soda, some Epsom salt, marigolds and lavender and chamomile. And we're also going to use some essential oils to make it smell nice. And you'll need oils, almond oil, olive oil or coconut oil will do. If you want a nice colouring in your bath bomb, you can use um, colouring for cupcake, for icings and they will do and the colours that we've picked is pink, yellow and blue. Things that you'll need to put your stuff in, you will need, however many of you colours you need, you'll need that many bowl, bowls, dry, a little bowl to mix your wet ingredients, a jug, measuring spoons, and a spoon to mix with. So now we're going to mix up our dry ingredients. You'll need one tablespoon of citric acid, two of bicarbonate of soda, and one of Epsom salt. We're going to mix our wet ingredients in a bowl. I would suggest a small bowl like this. So let's start. One teaspoon of oil. Ten drops of essential oil if you're going to use essential oils. Now we've done our essential oils, a quarter teaspoon of colour. Now we've done our wet and dry ingredients, um, we're going to mix our wet ingredients into the big bowl with our dry ingredients. Get a teaspoon and pop it in. Don't let it fizz, just stir it until it's mixed in and then put another teaspoon in. Don't worry if it goes in little clumps because, because it does that with ours too. Once you've mixed all your wet ingredients into the dry ingredients and, it, and, and you've mixed it up, mix it with your hands until it goes into fine crumbles and then take some little bits in your hands squeeze and if it comes out sticking together now it's time to put them in your moulds before you put your bath bombs in your moulds now's the time to add flowers if you want to half a teaspoon would do now it's time to put them in your moulds you can use ice cube trays ones that you've bought from online or your book box now let's get you can use your hands or a spoon and don't pack it too tight. Then when you've got it in your trays and you've filled your little your things that you're using up, you can press it down. Now you've got your bath bombs in their mould, put them in the fridge for one hour. I've got a bowl of warm water and a tea towel and I'm going to test them out. 